What you got there, Kaser? Oh, you got your own nice little chunky, buddy. Oh, I skip some ducks. Gosh, look at that. I skipped some ducks yet today. So, I am fall fishing today. Fall fishing. And this is my man. I mean, we got a special treat today. I've been trying to get this guy in the boat. Yeah, Grizzly Adams. Take a look at that thing. Holy cow. Out in the lake for a couple years now. It's Kyle Kaser, one of the best angles. I mean, the, one of the best angles in all the state of Indiana, Michigan. Kyle, let's look at this. So, you've caught one on a crankbait, you've caught one on a jig. Only been out here about an hour and a half. Real quick, fall fishing. I mean, it's September 26, yeah. I think. So we're barely in the fall. But the water temperature is 64 degrees. What are you really looking for when it comes to fall fishing? I mean, what's going to key you in? You've taken me to shallow water so far. I just try to cover as much water as I can, honestly. And, and, and he ain't lying. You got to see how fast this motor's going. <laughs> Crankbait fish, dude? Yes, sir. Oh, oh he didn't get <laughs> slapping it. Slapping that sucker. Snag him. Snag him. Hey, you can tell it. You can tell where he's going to bite that thing. You can tell he's going to bite it. <laughs> that crankbait Kyle Stone was a C Flash 44 Cal made by the great mate, great Greg Mangus. And they're kind of hard to come around, but find him clear H2O tap. Keepers. One on a jig that he got on our dock, one on a crankbait, and that crankbait was a little deeper, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. About six foot? Seven foot? Eight foot. Eight foot. See, I, I can't read numbers, but, uh, and now this one has come about two foot of water in some shallow weeds. So my experience, Kyle, you tell me if I'm wrong, because you, you would be the, the expert here today. My experience in the fall is like, you got to be diverse and be proficient in a number of different tactics. Yep, you gotta cover all the water ducks, throw a bunch of different lures, see what happens. See there, I don't know if you knew, but he is the 2021 Hunter of Fish. That's right. He's got a certification. He's a Hunter of Fish. He won the Hunter of Fish Bass Circuit this year. And that's why I figured I'd take him out here to see if he's the real deal or not. And uh, Kyle. And now fished by Andy. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right, baby. <laughs> it's like, damn. We got fish on. Kyle, I don't think he's as big as the other one on the rattlesnake, but it is another sign of life. And we're on a flat, two foot of water. The wind's blowing into it. Kyle, do you chase the wind in the fall? Oh yeah, gotta be in the wind. Boat fuel, which really isn't much. I'm gonna be stunned. You don't get bit along these ducks. There. Right underneath that dock. Sun's coming up. Well, Kyle, I, I'll let you hook the small ones. I'll take care of the big ones for you, okay? <laughs> it's a monster. Uh, yeah, it's a two and a half pound monster. <laughs> ah, ah, maybe a Still bit got meat beef. Ah, I'm gun. Trick worm. My butchered baits. Just perfectly like that. Uh -huh. So there it is. We've caught five fish, yeah. four different baits, yep. six fish, a couple on a trap, a couple on a jig, crankbait, now finesse worm, as you said, diversity. Kyle, you got us all around these pads. <laughs> Why? Why the pads this time of year? Because all the other grass is dying off, so 
the pads still stay green and I think the bluegill will stay around them more than the dying grass. I'll try to get away from them. That's what separates him from me. This time of year I typically avoid the pads. Maybe I shouldn't. Obviously I'm a very good looking, charismatic man. And I don't understand why my Instagram account is going to have a few more followers. Please! Get on Instagram if you have an account and give me a follow. And put something in the comments be like, Bus, follow me back. And we can be friends on Instagram. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! There's a real one. Jeez Louise! You said big one, you weren't a kid. There's a real one. Oh my gosh! That's why you fish the pads, Andy. <laughs> I've, I've learned. I've learned. <laughs> All hail Kyle Kaser, my gosh. I'll tell you what happened. I mean, so you're flipping that jig right at him. Oh, no. Was that, was that jig? No, oh, just flipping bait. Oh, a little beaver bait. Okay. And you flip it in those pads. Yeah, as soon as it dropped down to him, he smoked it. Now, are you skipping way back in those pads, or are you kind of on the edge? I kind of pick around until I get a bite. That one was on the edge, but right, until I get edge. a bite, I just keep on picking around. And he thumped it, or is it kind of, he just kind of slurped it? Oh, uh, he... I just felt some pressure. That was it, just a little pressure. Just a little pressure. And you showed him his boss! <laughs> yes! Yeah. There are promo codes down below in the description. It's just like a little isolated clump, I set the hook, and he's like way five feet to the left. So I turned him and saw him, because it was pretty clear water where it was. Yeah! Bring it aboard! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Oh my gosh! So he's he's like combining what we've been doing all day, well, what he's been doing, docks, flipping, weeds. So again, you think about the diversity we've had today. That's your thing, Casey. You're keeping us shallow. Now it's been a slow shallow bite, but why stay shallow? Just so I can pick them off easier out here. How deep I? It's hard to just find a school of fish when you're just fishing around. Is that it's a lot easier to target fish for me. And that's typical. Fall transition is really what it is. Fall transition right now. And poof, then put. Well, I'd definitely be lying if I said that Kyle and I came out here today and just lit it up. That's not really the case, but we've caught, I think, about 10 fish, 11 fish, and about six hours of fishing. And our best five, I think, is a pretty reasonable, about 14 and a half pounds. Kyle's strategy is set early on is to cover a lot of water. So, Kyle, I mean, you're in here in the fall. What's this? I mean, why? Um, it seems like summertime, they like to group up, and same with springtime. It's always a group up trying to spawn, but in the fall time, they just chase bait, and they're usually some bigger ones that move shallow, but there's really no specific pattern or anything. They just get yep. on random targets, and I just try to cover as many targets as I can cover. So we caught bit fish on it. Let me out here. Uh, crankbait. 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 Rattle trap. Rattle trap. Uh, Texas rig. Texas rig. Jig. Punch in. Jig. Worm. Finesse worm as well. So yeah, you just gotta throw a bunch of baits. And, and we, like I said, we scrounge together. I would say a pretty respectable limit. So yeah, good news for you. Good news. It's official. You are a hunter fish. Sweet. Congratulations. He has made it to the next level, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a round of applause. Check him out on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you get on my Instagram page. I need some more subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, see you in the water.